to do, we're going to take off the cover and you guys can see it. Looks a little bit different now. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Drift Games Vlog. We are here at the Old School New School show in Longford. Our good friend Niall runs this show every year. The cars are insane, crazy variety. And today is special because we're revealing our 240Z which we've transformed in just three weeks. We'll get to that in a little bit, but before we do, let's go check out some of the cool cars that are here. Actually quite like this, nice little Fiesta. Some classic cars here, I like classic cars, like this Merc, right? I actually took this car, brought a friend of mine to his wedding and it was one of my favourite cars in the country. Absolutely immaculate. Yeah. I do like the curtains. Oh, Retro curtains. This size. just made a house out of them. your car. <laughs> and you know what? It runs perfectly. It really works. It's normally like it's a... <laughs> so that one gets a big thumbs up for me. So we might be actually judging the show. I'm not sure just yet, but now I was saying to go around, check everything out, see what we think. So we're going to have a little look with, it, with you guys and see what you think. This one is one that's popped up for me, is this Mark IV Golf. You're a bit of a Mark IV Golf fan. I do just like, do just like golf. You like golf? It even has the same wheels that this I have. Nice yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't look anything like mine. It's Yours way. doesn't have uh, bucket seats that look like they're from, what, an RS6 or a Porsche? Uh, or a 6. I would genuinely say those seats are probably worth more than my entire car. Full build in the back of the air and all. Look at that. Look at that. Mark IV Paddy. Mark IV Paddy. Give him a follow. Give him a follow. <laughs> nice wheels. This is weird because this is an Escort. Three door van. Van? Estate? Van. It's not a van because it has windows. So, van, estate? Very nice though. Very clean. Yeah, Lane Sweeney over here. No, this one actually made it out of the oh, shed. This one actually. And, works, and yeah. works and looks good and has nice paint. It's lovely, isn't it? Blaine will be editing this footage as well, so he's going to see it, but I don't. This Blaine, is, I'm calling you out. I don't, I, been, I, don't care. I don't care. It looks great. Really nice. I love the colour of this S15. You're, you're, you're an Oryx 8 man. I like RX-8s, I think they're kind of a lost yeah. puppy in the, in the JDM car yeah. world and they're still cheap, where nothing else is cheap in JDM and you can put a kit on them and it looks very, very cool so he's done a really good job with that Pulsar GTIR. I'm going to show you another car in a minute that was resprayed by the same guy but I think it's this one, this MX-5 and a GT86 over there all resprayed by a guy called Martin Quell very good painter Look how cool this looks This is an interesting colour, isn't it? It's lovely. We spotted this when we were, set, we were setting up the event, or like here for set of day, and this, as soon as I just gravitated towards this, it's such a nice... Gorgeous colour. Yeah, I don't know if it look. comes out on the camera the same way. Yeah, it kind of looks a li little bit dead, but actually in, re in real life, oh, it's, it's lovely. like, yeah, it's a proper... It's like a... Is that the Mazda Candy Red? Like, you know, that I think the, it's the new Mazda, Mazda Candy, Candy Red. Red. That's on the new MX-5. Yeah. We could be, could be totally wrong. We generally are totally yeah. wrong. But this, <laughs> to, to me, that's what it looks like. This is a car that, that spotted... This is at the Bash, right? It was. Is this drifted? Really? Yep. Yes. Anyone that can go to a Bash and then two weeks later go to a car show and be front and centre, you are winning. Awesome car. How to track BMW? Like. How to make E36s look very well, 101. Obviously, E30 M3 is very nice, but this I love. So it's got full bus open style. Very good. Full livery. External oil cooler. Very, we would be poncy and say, very period correct. Yes. Very period correct. On SSR Mark 1s, very nice wheel. Very nice A86. This is how I like A86s. I'm sure a lot of people in Ireland like them with fog lamps and they look like rally cars and they're fine. But this is how I like A86s. Absolutely savage. Nice golf. Some sort of Fiat thing, I'm sure Josh would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fiat 126, I actually got the first bit right. Are we going to do the official reveal for on the, on the Drift Games channel? Because it has been done for a little while. Yeah, so basically, long story short, it's right over there, is Wayne Curran's, so you'll remember my old blue 180SX. I may have damaged it quite a bit. Sold that to Wayne as a rolling shell. The engine went in Josh's NC MX-5, and he completely rebuilt the car to put into, and this is no exaggeration, the foyer of a five-star hotel in Ireland for his wedding and it looks absolutely spectacular. I'd, li I'd also like to point out the attention to detail here because it is absolutely spotless. One, thing, one thing that's not going to come out on the camera is the, the is the sparkly flaky floor and all, all the interior is all done. Got, so it's all grey metallic with a pink flake. Whole car has been redone absolutely top to bottom. Immaculate. And I think I can open the bonnet. I wouldn't normally open someone's bonnet at a car show, but this is this is Wayne. He's opening my bonnet all day. There we go. He actually put our logo on the car. I'm surprised by that. Yeah. You had to buy him a Luke safe for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
like absolutely. So it's like same again, flake absolutely everywhere. And actually, there's what does does if you ever see this car in person, have a look at underneath the pedals because Wayne put in a load of flake into the car, and then Tommy put a load of flake into the car, and they didn't realize, and they sprayed it, and it, the inside is double flake by double flake, double flake by accident. Like a '99 with two flakes, <laughs> it's too many. But he's done even pink hoses this car, and now it's just getting ready for mapping and it will be running it's not going to be a competition car look at the under the bonnet they put the metallic like look at the attention to detail on this yeah. thing Unreal. it's unbelievable he did a great job tommy and wayne absolutely smashed it and it's funny to think that tommy and wayne have two cars on two podiums at this event so fair play tommy and wayne lovely gtr i would have one of this color not gray just my opinion front black shoot me would have an rx7 in this color with the carbon lip and the yellow and the carbon dash oh. You need the ball. Next up, one of my cars of the show, and I don't say that lightly because there's a lot of good cars here, is Sean's GT86, Rocket Bunny version 3. So he spoke to him yesterday. So this car, would you believe, here's a little tidbit for you, Adam, that you don't know. So these wheels, very specific for this body kit, right? These works. Yeah. Got these second hand off the guy that designed the liveries for our Corvette and MX-5. He had a, a wide body Rocket Bunny a GT86. Square, square design. Square design. They were his wheels. Oh, from Scandinavia. It's a, it's a, the drift community is small, but yeah. the realize was that small. Forged carbon. Just everything on this car is immaculate. It's brand new and it's static. We had it. We drove it about four hours, five hours to be here. So it is a road car that's used. What I love about this is he was telling me that normally, so this is the same color as the MX-5 we saw. Yeah. But instead of putting a pearl in it they put like a black base coat so it takes away the light so where a pearl shines this actually retracts the light so it looks darker which is a weird way of doing it but it looks unbelievable like, so at night it kind of looks kind of very dark wine black and then in the sunshine it looks kind of red crushed carbon end pieces probably can't see that but yeah. that's a big bold like gooseneck spoiler to drive around the road yeah but i think this car has turned out i think this is my night one of the nice car here is but i think it's my favorite gt86 i've ever seen We've never I, done a GT86. We haven't, and now seeing this, I'm like, maybe we should do a GT86. This looks phenomenal. Yeah. But now I realize it won't look as good as this, so I'm now kind of turned off it as well at the same time. It's very cool though. You know these cars. Here's the our boys, Craig, Darren Coleman, and David Coleman. So you see now a video I like to call Pop Pop Bang Bang. with the K20 from David's car. This is Craig's E335 on airbags, convertible, and then the Porsche. Old new, this is old school new school, but this is a kit called Old New Mechanic. This is old new, this is an old new kit at Old School New School. Ah, there you go. We have our A90 Super here at the Old School New School show, and it looks amazing on these Strom Wheels STR3s. I think these are, in my opinion, the nicest wheel from modern BMW, Audi, or even SUV. They did them all the way up to like 22 inch sizes. They're even bigger, I'm not too sure. Check out their website, because they have a huge range of these and an amazing amount of colors. They're really, really good quality. They look amazing. You'll run them with really low profile tires with no issues, and they're very reasonably priced. So check out the Strom Wheels website. Car stuff something cool like this. But before we move on from the Supra, by the way, we could go. We were in Riverside Drift in America, went to Versus Engineering headquarters, bought some canards, fitted them. Think they look quite cool. Hey, wasn't too sure. And you know what? I actually strangely ran these lower than you are supposed to run them because I didn't want them to be so obvious up on the wing. So I ran them kind of like a runoff of the bumper. I think it looks a little bit more subtle, but kind of works better with all the aero on the front. So I'm really, really happy with Supra how it turned out. You did, and Keen did give it the motorway test this morning, so they have lasted. Well, I put them on and they haven't fallen off yet, and Keen had it, so he said he took it at a fair speed. So yeah. I think they're okay. So you can see our shop here. Everyone's checking out all the new designs, all the clothes, all the drift games. Dot Life website. We've got new T-shirts, new hoodies, new everything. Stock is back in. So make sure you grab something cool. Remember. Everything you buy on the shop, we basically put it back into the cars and you guys get to see the cool content. So we thank you all for your support and everybody who's picked something up at the show. We thank you because you allow us to do stupid things with cars, which is exactly what we want. Right, let's move on. Spotted and I do absolutely love one, but probably the price has gone astronomical. Nano 5 Turbo. Nano 5 Turbo. Gets a bit of you now, Adam. Like, see you pop around on that now. But it even has like the jazzy interior, like the two-tone old school interior. Oh, that's lovely. And it's absolutely swell. Yeah. So we got a big row of cars down here, so I think what we'll do is we'll rapid fire. There's so many cars here, we're going to rapid fire. So oh, look, they have a they have a doggy area. This is, the, this is the greatest thing ever. Dog area. Right, rapid fire. Lovely Evo. Evo, nice, Just white. White, Great. Lovely. nice wheels. Red over like black, swing cam. 
Yeah. You Kevin, back. Kevin Quinn. 434. 433, sorry. GTO actually done really well. In midnight carpet. Yeah. 32 GTO. Yeah. yeah. Yellow Evo, rare. Yeah. 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 Can't confirm. So he, has to, he has taken the V8 out. The V8 out. The V8 went for sale. And so he's obviously sold it. Now he has the SR20. Now he has that. Lovely colour. Pink. Very, very, very pink. On paper, would hate it. In reality, love it. Looks JDM from Japan. One of the nicest S15s here. Love the combo. White with bronze. Very nice. Subaru Hawkeye. Very nice. Civic Type Horse. Not really my thing, but that's a very nice one. Laurel. Daniel McConnell. Very nice. Strictly business. Good stick on that. Prestige worldwide. Prestige worldwide. Little flag. So this is uh, the cleanest. He is the detailer. He's the cleanest man. He's the cl he's cleanest car man. Like it. Never had one. Kind of wanted one. Still kind of want one. Not sure. Drift car. Sister's car. Niles sister. Abby's Abby's drift car. Which I'm down on to yeah. Niles. And then they had an FC RX7. Very nice. Sir. Look at the lights. Very nice. This is a strange one because this car has gone through a couple of different shapes. This is a lot of Ori Yamamea. Tommy, are you slagging off cars again now? No, car? no, no, he is. No, not me, not me. We saw this horrendous pink one up on a stand up there. All oh, you want to see it. Oh, oh, a white colored one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, white but all, with all the stu all the, stu yeah. all the yeah. super flake inside. Flake everywhere. Yeah. Who yeah. is he trying to impress that lad with all this oh. flake? <laughs> a lovely green flake up there. Uh, up here. Up here. Yeah, saw that. That's real raw. That is nice. What's that Opel? Opel. There's an Opel Manta 400. I see Tommy should be judging the show now. Yeah. Us. Tommy, I should like that. Lovely red one, look over there. We're going to have a look at that too. Yeah. There's a lot the of nice cars here. But if you were judging them like we are, it's hard to pick. A lot of nice cars. It is hard to pick. It is. A lot of nice yeah. cars because yeah. there's no way you could nearly give out 100 prizes here because everything is so unique. Like So yeah. anyway, so we're about 20 minutes away from revealing the Datsun. So you guys are going to pull the curtains off, or curtains, the cover uh, off. Yeah. We're going to do a bit of an announcement. I'm excited to see what everyone thinks of the car. But before then, we're going to go look at more cars because there's so many to get through. We're doing rapid fire. Rapid fire. I give out about this though. Like he's different screws everywhere. Like what's he at? Like yeah. Jeez, he has a few I different mean, types of screws I mean, there. Look, now. look, a tech screws. Look. And then this is a. An a Allen key. An Allen key, yep. and then a Nile. Come on. Like what's he yeah. at? That's the bottom. That's yeah. Josh Holdsworth stuff now. Bottom of the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bottom of the bucket. <laughs> yeah. Whatever was there. The beautiful car. But it won't come off anyway because no one will be able to take it off without four different implements. <laughs> 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 no one will ever steal your arrow catches now. Like, I, I get the logic. <laughs> yeah. Right, we'll move on. We'll move on. Liveries coming in in a big way. This one, GTR has gone all out. It's a cool look because for the summer, why not just do the car really wild and make it look cool? This is a nice suit. These are the original wheels from my A90 Supra. These came off my A90 Supra and went on to a Mark IV Supra. Figure that one out. I think they look quite cool. Wish <laughs> 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 Lovely. Sorry, I got distracted. Adam, the cars, we're back to the cars. <laughs> So we have some uh, nice R32. 431. Sorry, R31. And an R32, Adam. Oh, sorry, yeah. And, which is actually V8. V8 LS, and then this is lovely. R32 GTR. All the little bits of carbon. Lovely. Those wheels are about five grand yeah. now. Well, even the, look, at the, look at the cleanliness of the brakes. That is immaculate. Josh, Josh Holdsworth. Josh had to be here today, but he's here. Josh isn't here today because he's, he's, at a, he's at his brother's stag party. He's the best man, so he had to go. But if, but he would rather be here to be looking at this absolute whatever they're into. I don't know how people are into these, but Josh absolutely loves them, and he would trade every car he owns for one of these. And this one's actually lovely, by the way. It's very clean. Your knees are the crumples. Your knees on. are the crumples on. You are the crumples on. Right, we're moving on to the shop, Dave, and yep. it's, it's almost time. It's almost time. We have the PS13 here. We got it back from Blackline a couple of weeks ago. It looks absolutely fantastic. I drove it here and it handles amazing on the BC Racing coilovers and the bags. It's unreal. Dan Moorhead, our good friend, turns up in an absolute stonking 90s Mark IV Supra. This thing is like so old school. Sorry, Mark III. And all gauges in the glove box and literally like full, full roll cage. Ah, Nothing says 90s like this. And 
sorry, not even that. The Now 100 CD. Oh, what was on Now 100? <laughs> Red Red Wine by UB40. You know what Dan's this is on the way down. In his Mark III Supra with all his gauges, this is UB40. Man, Dan. Lovely car, though. It's the last 15 tucked away. All of the nice. All right, crowds are starting to build. DJs are announcing that we are revealing the Datsun at 1 p.m. So it's time to turn the cameras around and show everyone what you came to this video to see, which is how we transform this car in three weeks. Let's do it. Further ado, we're going to take off the cover and you guys can see it. Looks a little bit different now. Alright guys, before we show the car at the show, I'm fast forwarding a couple of days because when we showed it at the show, so many pe people came up and talked to us, hung out with us, took pictures of the car, took pictures with us, all that good stuff was amazing. Thank you so much for all the love we got in Longford at Old School New School that we didn't actually take any video of the car itself. So we decided to do that today so you guys get a good look at what we did and what the transformation was over the last three weeks. So it's been quite a bit of visual transformation mechanically the only thing we did was we fitted a set of bc racing coilovers our guy ryan morton at vital fabrication had to chop the original uh, struts and weld on the bc racing coilovers but they've transformed the handling completely on this car to get the car full service with mobile one oil because it kind of needed it and we do it with all the cars we have and these are the wheels you might recognize from the S12. So the S12 was 4x114, so is the Datsun, so we did a little swap -a We put the Watt Nabbies onto the S12, we'll show you that in a future episode, and we took these Compomotive step-lipped dished wheels off the S12, it gets confusing, and we got them powder coated. So they were gold, but we powder coated them with TH components and tire hanger to this kind of dark gray, which is a color that sits between the two colors we wrapped the car in. So they are also wrapped in Federal 595 or S's. Those are provided by the Tire Box. They're exclusive Federal dealers in Ireland. These tires are unbelievable for a road car. Just so much more grip than what was on the car before. And with the 400 horsepower it has, it kind of needed better suspension and tires. So there you go, Federals and BCs. Obviously, the obvious thing we've changed is the color. The car had the original 1971 orange paint on it, so I didn't want to repaint the car. I loved the mechanicals of the car, loved the engine, loved everything about it. Just wasn't a massive fan of the orange. But beggars can't be choosers when these cars are so rare, especially with a full resto mod car like this. So we wrapped it. And that means that we got to keep the original paint underneath and we didn't get to ruin the originality of the car. So we went with a two-tone, just a metallic gray and a metallic black. We put on these over fenders. These are painted satin black. Tommy Dunn did a great job painting everything that needed to be satin black on the car. So we painted the fender, we painted the rear panel and we painted the spoiler and we fitted them all back on. So Skillard over in the US do these nice little cover plates for where we took off the chrome bumpers and we put some Z symbols on there as well. Spoiler is, uh, I can't remember where I got the spoiler from, but Skiller did the front end of the car as well, so we'll get to that in a second. So it gives the kind of car a nice wide aesthetic. Um, we've obviously got these tire stickers from tirestickers.co.uk. They're really cool. However, I overstanced the back of the car, so it actually took a little bit of those off, so we'll replace those. But if you want to know how they do look, here they are on the front. I think these look awesome. I think they just really add to that kind of old race car look along with the numbers on the side. And um, we did the front headlights in yellow. However, there are some parts we didn't get in time. We've got halogen black lights coming for this car, stuck in customs, fender mirrors stuck in customs. And here is maybe some sealing rubber parts as well to seal between the body and the arches. But again, they were stuck in customs. On the front, well, we took off all the chrome and we put a huge black rail from Skillard. And we put a, what's called a, I can't even remember what the name of this is, but it's a very famous race front bumper from the 240Z. It's just slipped my mind right now. And we got a big four inch extension spitter on the front. And while this looks like a regular spitter that you might see on a drift car, it actually goes the whole way under the car and under the sump. So it's actually aerodynamic uh, in its purpose as well. Um, other than that, we just cleaned up the front end. We put some blanking plates in here. So you, this is where the holes for the front bumper would have been. But Skillard also do these satin black blanking plates. But I think they're quite cool. Um, so the lights will change, fender mirrors will change, a couple of bits and bobs will change. Um, it's not 100% finished, but for three weeks work, I think we did pretty well. It definitely looks more mean, it looks more JDM, it definitely looks more like a car going to a track day in Japan than a sort of 50 year old's midlife crisis from America, which is what the car looked like before. So I'm really, really pumped with it. There's kind of an overview of the car. We'll be doing more with it in the future, so we'll get, keep you guys updated on it. But for now, let's go back to old school, new school, when we showed it to everybody for the first time. 
All right, so Tommy and Wayne and all the boys did an amazing job on the 240Z. We just wanted to throw that little montage in because we want to show off the car a little bit. I hope you guys like it. We absolutely love it. Can't wait to get out on the road. It's fully road legal, ready to go. V8 sounds. Love it. Anyway, we're still here at Old School, New School. I'm going to show you the variety, starting with this, which... Uh, but I think Josh would look great in this. We have to check into the regulations. Can we build Josh's three-wheel drift car for next year? That would be quite good content, I think. But we're going to do a super rapid fire through all this. There's so many cool cars here to pick from, but everywhere you look, there's or, something cool. Or as well. Or as well. Evo. Evo. Right. This is a Saab engine Sierra on airbags. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, so we have got Triple A Customs did that, really nice, really nice. Evo. JZX81. Oh, oh. Manta 400. Oh, the Manta. Wow. You know what normally wouldn't be my cup of tea, but this is a... I'd have two cups. <laughs> a, few, a few sips. I'd have a few sips of that now. Love it. Like this on the bottom. She is. She is an IS200. She is an IS200. Very nice. This one, this one I love a lot. <laughs> Wheel choice on point. Wheel choice on point. Very nice. Yeah. Stancy boy. Chrome wheels. Very nice. Color. Nice colour. Very nice colour. Color. Color. Unusual. Oh, the colour. But this might be. You know what I always say to car shows? There's always one car at a car show I go, I'd like to own that. That's this one. The colour of the wheels. Very similar wheels to my Spirit Ray PS13. Yes, that's, and yes. Black S15s, absolute goals, absolute goals. Also, also, love that. Well, our American viewers like, how have they got so many S15s? Because we've had them for about 20 years. S14, kooky. Always said it. To finish the collection, I'd want a two tone, but this one is just so nice. Sorry, you have enough PS13s. I have for enough for the, for the love of God. For the love of Jesus, I have enough PS13s. But this is a style I haven't done yet, but I love this style as well. A lot of people who are watching in from abroad probably don't know much about this car, which I call the baby S15. A11 Coupe. I think the front lights look like an S15, but the back, I mean, they were clearly copying the old homework there now, Toyota. With the S15 came out and they went. Copy it, but change a bit. You know, like. Change a little. Yeah. It's like a smaller S15. I like that. Nice little system, as they say. A bit of a system in it. It's very nice. Nice interior, too. Look at this. Oh. Look at it. What have we got going on here? It's like a. I don't know what you call that kind of stitching. Jazz. Jazz. I'm going to say a big statement now. There's a car that I absolutely hate, never liked it in my whole life, and I found one today that I actually quite like, which is the R33 four door. This was nice. I like the back lights on this one. It's got funky back lights. See, normally not a fan, don't like them, but that one's really See, it goes to show that any car can be nice with the right touches. This is my stancy boy of the day car, this Aristo. Static, drives it on the road like that. That's, a, that's outrageous. For the love of that. You can put a small child in there now for the evening. <laughs> Look at the dish on the front. Nice S2000. Yeah. Two of the cuties back yeah. in the day. Exactly the oh! The yeah, yeah. oh. Yeah. A little teaser is there might be another one coming to the channel, uh, but maybe not another one for Josh. Is that what I'm hearing? We won't say too much yet. These are very cool. This is a very rare car. These two now are, they gotta be up there for me. Of like, I've never really seen much of these. Because this is a Bluebird, Bluebird Coupe. So it only has two doors. <laughs> that is a bit of me now. That looks fantastic. That's such a cool car. Very rare. Once this, again, once again, attention to detail. I've never seen one of these before. They really went downhill with the Galant after this, didn't they? <laughs> See the VF4 over there? It's cool. It's boxy. It's cool. It's cool. But like, this is a car that I've never seen before and didn't know existed. And looks like a US muscle car, but a little bit smaller, but just as nice. Just gotta stick the little fins on the side. You're yes. A, you're a, is it a Mustang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little fins there. Fastback. It's very cool. It's like a fastback Mitsubishi Glant, which I never thought that sentence would ever exist. <laughs> but this one's beautiful. Look at that. We're in Ireland. Look at that. And it keeps going. We got. Laurels, J's and X's. Recognize this little lady. It's your old baby. It's for sale. It's for sale, it's for sale again. <laughs> the E36 on air that we built last year. Yeah, last for, year? Uh, 
People year and a half, year, yeah. was it last year? It was last year. Jeez, we got through a lot of cars this year. Haven't we? Came to the show with not any of the same cars we brought last year. Not the same van, not the same tent, not the same trailer. Literally everything we've brought this year is I think we were, look, we were looking to survive at this stage. Yeah. That much got changed. Honda Prelude, it's cool or not cool? What do you think? Cool. Wasn't, wasn't cool coming back is it, a, is it what I call it, the 300 ZX move? Yeah. Cool, then not cool at all, then yeah. cool again. And there's a yeah. nice 300 ZX over here. Two of them. Would you have the T-top or the convertible? T-top. Absolutely no idea. I thought they all came like this. Yeah. So what's I got this? the T-top. I don't know, it's kind of funky looking, this one. I like this. 46, very nice. Oh, nice. I like the black on the bottom, I'm not sure why. Very nice car. I like the real choice. Good, cho good car, good choice. Nice S15 behind it. They're all lovely S15s. Yeah. He's S15 successfully there. Yeah. He's S15 successfully. Nice. 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 Turbo Yaris. Powered by Tier D. Attention to detail. Now, just, I'm, now I'm, you've, something's caught your eye. I'm a fan of this now. This would be a, I like everything going on here. Good kid choice, good kid choice. Absolutely immaculate. Carbon bonnet. Oh, beautiful. I'm such a soft spot for PS13. I just. They're my favourite Sylvia. Yeah. This is a Pulsar Visador, so this is like a 1.6 litre, probably like 170 horsepower. I want to take my sunglasses off for this because the detail is ridiculous. So, I was talked around this earlier. So basically, what would have been here is like a big distributor or whatever, but they cleaned it all the bay up, all AN fittings, all radium. They put the injectors on the bottom of the ITBs so that it's cleaner looking, which is like madness. All this is absolutely sparkling in here, but check out the interior. Holy crap. A lot of cleaning stuff in there, so take away It's in the pores. But like, everything is super, super simple. What, look at the back. Holy Even polished the spare wheel in there, and everything is all polished Holy up. Holy crap. And genuine bride low maxes with the carbon Kevlar backs. <laughs> Flexing. What's that? It's not a bad. Flexing. Look at the interior there. That looks like my granny's living room, but I love it. That is deadly. Doilies, is that what they're called? Could be. That's old school now. Even smell. With the really original uh, brochure and all. You don't have smell of it, but it even smells like an old interior inside. Do you think it's the Royal Saloon or the Super Super Saloon Extra Royal or the Super Edition? It was all sorts of super options. Select. That sounds super like select. Sounds like, sounds like a McDonald's. Sounds like a McDonald's. Like the VR4. This is the Galant VR4. So this is four-wheel drive turbo. So they're kind of like the bigger Evo back then. They, they made them all the way up to a newer version of these. I used to have one of these like them VR4s, a four-wheel drive, an estate one that was bigger than this and a newer model. They're very cool. Like kind of a sleeper because you wouldn't expect it to be as fast as an Evo, but it's pretty much an Evo underneath. So very cool. Also looks awesome. But the blue brides inside. Ho oh, ho. That co the color is lovely. Rare boys. Yeah. The blue bride. Guys, we tried to show you guys as much as we could. There's too many cars here to cover. The old school, new school show is just amazing. We got to reveal the 240Z. We got to hang out with loads of people. We got to have an awesome time. We got to check out the cool cars. Show season is now in full swing in Ireland. So we're going to try and get to a couple more of these before the end of the year. Just said we'd walk around and show you guys. Nothing too spectacular in this video, but a lot of cool cars to look at. And a credit to all the owners because doing the Irish car scene very proud with the standard and variety of cars in this country. For such a small little country of just five and a half million people, we have so many car enthusiasts into so many different things from Fords to V Dub stuff to twin cams to everything. So we had an awesome time. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed the 240Z. We'll see you on the next episode for more madness from the Drift Games vlog. See you then.